The Utah Transit Authority has axed a billion dollar plan to install a Trex line between Point in the Mountain and Lehigh. Fox 13 Spencer Joseph is live in Utah County uh, with a growing Utah report. Spencer, what are they going to do? Yeah. They are going to ax that plan and go with big bendy buses. I know that sounds kind of an interesting way to go, but they say it's going to save hundreds of millions of dollars to taxpayers. Making the switch from tracks to bus, the Utah Transit Authority has officially axed a billion dollar plan to install a tracks line at Point of Mountain in favor of using buses. It is a system that we're using very effectively and very successfully right now down in Utah County. But they look a little different from your average UTA bus called Bus Rapid Transit or BRTs. They're big long buses. They can uh, carry a lot of people. They move very fast uh, most of the time in their own designated lanes cheaper than a Trax line too. Cost analysis shows a new Trax line would cost nearly double what the buses would with the same ridership ability. We liken it to Trax but on rubber wheels. My thoughts are that uh, BRT is a good way to go. Christopher Stout is the co-founder of the Utah Transit Riders Union Advocates. Effectively we are an advocacy group for transit um, in, in Utah. And he's on board with the switch. It has all the benefits of rail. It takes cars off the road. Which is one reason this new addition is so important, taking away traffic at one of Utah's worst bottlenecks. But people have to have a willingness to do that, to get out of their car, maybe not just, you know, maybe just one day a week. And there will soon be more cars here as well. The second reason, the soon-to-be-gone Draper State Prison will be redeveloped into acres of housing and businesses. But since they don't know just how many people will use this line yet, buses are a benefit. Why commit a billion dollar uh, infrastructure that may or may not be needed? So the BRT really makes it flexible, easy to operate, easy, easier to change. So while tracks is important for UTA, we're finding out in certain situations, certain circumstances, it's more cost effective to go with the BRTs. So to share something with our viewers, we actually had a gentleman that came up to us right before we did this live shot. He was riding his bike and he says he lives in Draper, commutes to Lehigh, and he rides his bike on the side road because he doesn't like the traffic. Now that is exactly what UTA is building this bus line for and he says he would take it all the time. So there you go UTA, your very first customer and hopefully many more to come. Live in Utah County, Spencer Joseph, Fox 13 News, Utah.